Hi, I'm Tim Davis, DevOps Advocate with M0. Today we're going to be talking about InfraCost. Specifically, we're going to be talking about their recent support for Azure. If you're interested in infrastructure as code plan cost or the difference between a plan update, feel free to check them out on GitHub at InfraCost. It's a very quick three command install and you're off to the races from there. We've got an application that's deployed out into Azure that just consists of one single standard D1 v2 instance, as we can see that's deployed right here, but we've got a pull request open to change that to a standard D2 v3 instance. Now we'd like to know exactly what that's going to cost, and InfraCost is going to help us out. So let's jump over and see exactly what that's going to cost us. We can see here that in our variable file we have standard D2 v3, so let's go ahead and run in for cost diff path right here. One thing I like to point out is that InfraCost is integrated into the Terraform CLI so that you don't actually have to run the Terraform init and Terraform plan first. InfraCost is going to run that automatically whenever you run the CLI. We can see here that there's a net difference of $33.87, which is exactly what we were looking for. Um, it got that cost by removing the $46.43 instance and adding an $80.30 instance. This is perfectly where we wanted it to be, so let's go ahead and get that installed. looks like we're done. All we're going to do is jump back over into Azure to validate and it looks like we're good to go with that new instance size. For more info on InfraCost, go to InfraCost.io and for more content like this, follow me on Twitter at VTimD and at ENVZERO on Twitter and YouTube.